Hello friends, welcome back to Cosmopolitan Cornbread. So if you saw my video where I went on a trip to Alabama recently, you saw where I did a little bit of antiquing and one of the things that I picked up was a cake tin. Well, I have already put that cake tin to use and made a cake that is just kind of one of the perfect autumn flavored cakes and that is a spiced pumpkin bundt cake. And I didn't just stop there with the whole spice flavor. I also made a spiced glaze to drizzle over the top. And so today I'm just going to take you through that amazing recipe. So to begin, I preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I got started measuring out all of my dry ingredients. Two and a half cups of all purpose flour. a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of freshly ground nutmeg, but you can use pre-ground nutmeg just as easily, a half a teaspoon of allspice, a quarter of a teaspoon of ground cloves, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and then I combine those all together just by mixing them with a whisk. Set that aside for a minute, and now it's time for the wet ingredients. I started by breaking three eggs into my mixing bowl and giving them a quick whisking. Then I added a half a cup of applesauce, plain unsweetened. Then I added in a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Two cups of granulated sugar, a half a cup of brown sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I gave those a quick whisking together. And then I added in one can of solid packed pumpkin or pumpkin puree, about a 15 ounce sized can. Then I mixed half of my dry mixture into the pumpkin mixture, whisked that together, and then I added the other half. Whisking until it was smooth, of course I scraped the bowl with a rubber spatula to make sure all of the ingredients were mixed together well. And then I added in a half a cup of chopped pecans. You could add up to a cup of pecans if you want more nuts in there, but I just added half a cup today. So then I pulled my baking spray replacement mixture out. Uh, you can get a link for that on my website. I'll put it in the video description down below. And I coated my bundt cake pan. Now you could just go ahead and grease and flour it, but when I use this mixture, nothing ever sticks. So I coated my pan with that, and then I went ahead and I added the batter into the pan, and I just kind of got it in there evenly and then smoothed the top with the back of a spoon. And then this goes into the oven at the 350 degrees for 55 to 65 minutes or until it tests done with a wooden toothpick or skewer. Then I took the cake while it was still in the pan and I set it on a cooling rack and I let it cool for about 10 minutes in the pan. And then I carefully inverted the pan onto my cooling rack. And 
and then gently lifted the pan off of the cake and the cake came right out. And then I let the cake cool completely. When the cake was done cooling, I went ahead and I mixed up my really simple spiced glaze ingredients. Two thirds of a cup of powdered sugar, a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and a pinch of ground ginger. I gave those a quick stir to combine them and then I added in about a tablespoon of milk. Depending upon how dry your climate is and how dry your ingredients are, you might need a little bit more. But when you're making a glaze, you always want to start with less. You can always add more. You can't take it out. You want just enough milk so that it will mix together and whisk smooth. And then I drizzled that all over the top of the cake. Now I know I've talked about how I'm not eating a lot of sweets right now and I'm sticking with that, keeping anything sweet very, very limited, but I baked this cake for fellowship. This weekend was Yom Teruah, which is known as the Feast of Trumpets, which technically Yom means day, day of trumpets, a uh, day of shouting, uh, a biblical feast. And of course our fellowship had a get together for it and so I could bake the cake take it to fellowship and everyone could enjoy it. Now it's a very pretty cake, but as you can see, it's really easy to make. Bunk cakes are kind of like that. Simple, but they look fancy. So if you would like to make this recipe, you can get a printable version of it on my website, cosmopolitancornbread.com, and I will put a link directly to that in the video description down below. If you make this recipe and you love it, when you're there on my website, you'll see the recipe card where you can print it out or save it to Pinterest. If you would click that five star rating, that would really help me out. And it lets Google know that my recipes are good so that other people can find them. So that is it for today. Thanks for joining me here in the Homestead Kitchen. My name is Constance from Cosmopolitan Cornbread, and I will talk to y'all next time.